Hi guys, Mike back again with a little paint what you've got, don't buy what you want update. I uh, thought it was a bit about time for one of these and doing the series of Q&As kind of reminded me uh, that I haven't kind of, I haven't done an update for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if the paint what you've got challenge has been successful. I'm not sure whether it's been a bit of a farce. <laughs> um, somewhere in between, I think. Uh, it's really hard actually, it's really hard, I really tried um, not to buy what I want um, and I certainly didn't buy as much as I may normally have had uh, if I wasn't trying to be careful um, but I'm going to go through the list with you just to sort of show you right, this is the current new list and it looks bad it looks like, Mike, you've painted nothing, what are you doing? so that's the new list which we'll go through in a second but this was the old list. This isn't the original old list. Um, this is the oldest list I've got. This is uh, dated February this year. So I'm going to go through this list and just sort of see where we went, how where we got to. Um, okay, so as you know, I, I, I kind of categorised all of my stuff that I wanted to paint. Um, and put it on a list, basically. And I wasn't going to buy anything. And um, I was going to paint what I got and not buy what I want. Hence the, the title of the challenge for myself. So we'll start at the beginning. So we had a load of foreground um, terrain to build. This is the the um, the wooden terrain from, from foreground, clearly, uh, for Dead Man's Hand predominantly. Or for, well, for Dead Man's Hand exclusively, actually. But this is all done. Storm shelter, done. Grave boards, done. Coffin, done. Railway lines, outhouse, long boardwalks, picket fencing, sub-base B, Corral fencing, yard panel fencing, the Sassy Gal sub base, which will be the, um, the the big saloon ultimately, the livery and the stagecoach. All of it's done. That whole, all the foreground stuff got painted, uh, painted. Sorry, got built. So that's all done. So that's success. Brilliant stuff. Bearing in mind, none of this needed painting. <laughs> so the paint what you got challenge hasn't. Well, kind of didn't. It did apply because I wanted to get it built, but. Um, didn't need to paint anything. Then we move on to the Dead Man's Hand stuff itself. Cowboys are done. Daughters of the West weren't on the original list, but um, so they kind of they weren't there, but they uh, they arrived in April. Um, so this is clearly an old, a new addition to an old list. So this list is dated February 2016, but I actually bought these in April when I went to salute. So by rights, they shouldn't be on the February 2015. 16 list. Anyway, so they were new. I haven't painted those. Doc Amos is done. Stagecoach crew is done. Stagecoach passions is done. Stagecoach horses are done. The rideless horses are done. And the gallow figures are done. So if we're looking at this list from a February 2016 perspective, Daughters of the West wouldn't have been purchased. So we actually finished Dead Man's Hand. I mean, I appreciate that Dead Daughters of the West is a new addition, but there we go. AVP is virtually done we know about the use uh, the power loader which is the bane of my life and i might well paint for nick's uh get it painted challenge i just i i don't know what it is i just uh, uh, it's only one one miniature one miniature and i'm thinking do i just just get it done just paint it just i don't know i mean i've painted the yellow i want i need to put i want to put some hazard striping on it and do the details and stuff. And I'm sure once I start going with it, it won't be half as bad as I think it's going to be. But uh, I just can't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. Anyway, so haven't painted that. We know about that. Alien Crusher, though, is done. Alien Infants are done. Wayland Yutani Commandos are done. Face Huggers are done. And they were a salute edition. And the Sentry Guns are done. And they were a salute 2016 edition. So apart from the power loader, we're done. So that, that list... We, it's complete. Okay, Project Z. This was a um, uh, a kind of a pre-order thing, which wasn't on the original list. So I did. I mean, it was a birthday kind of present. Um, so that was February twenty sixteen. But um, so yeah, I mean, from it, we. I, I've. And I said, what have we done? Okay, so we've we've painted up male zombies twice so we've got two lots of male zombies look at that i've painted so much my pens run out from all the crossing out okay <laughs> uh, so we painted two lots of male zombies and we painted one lot of zombie vixens uh i've only actually got three lots of zombie vixens so that 
doesn't apply, that doesn't exist. So yeah, I mean, there we go, we're on the way. Um, Z clips were a new addition, these are um, single miniatures that I was using as survivors. So, and they're all done. Walt, Mia, Dixon, Mel, Hawk, Cole, Norm, Barker and the Boys, which was four miniatures, done. And the Tiny Terrors, which are our zombie children, they're done. And again, all done. We painting what we've got. Look at that. Okay, then we move on to 40k. Sarasas Knight Asheron. I'm sort of saving that really, because it's it's a sweet model. I think it's probably the, my most favourite. It's the my, my most favourite model in my collection at the moment. I'm built, and I'm saving it just for a rainy day, really, just to you know, because I really want to enjoy the build. Um, 30th anniversary Marine. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. So that that's on the list, but I haven't opened it. So whether I keep it as a collector's item or paint it, I probably I will paint it. Um, because miniatures are, are meant to be painted, aren't they? But I'm just sort of keeping it in the box at the moment. So that kind of doesn't really apply. Storm Eagle gunship is being painted. Um, oh, sorry, is done, sorry. Uh, the attack bike still need two more. So, I mean, that was always going to be at the end of the list if I bought two more. And the Terminator squad and the, the sorry, the Terminator squad times five, four draw shoulder pads and bits from my bits box using Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields are being painted now. So that can get crossed off. And Blood Angel Terminator Assault Squad, Thunder Hammer Storm Shields, is being painted now. So I can cross that off. So and just to show, we've got, there they are, being painted as we speak. So, okay, so they can be off. So, I mean, basically, and then we've got the final page, which was just all the other game systems that I had that I was going to kind of break down into smaller achievable components. But the, these were always on the list. So the Betrayal at Kalth stuff. I'm thinking whether I'm going to do a Traitor Legion for that. Space Hulk, again, we'll paint that at some point. Dungeon Saga, Dreadfleet, Dead Zone, HMS Victory, and Millennium Falcon. So, in reality, I mean, it was done. I mean, the project is a success. So, what was left was the. I needed to buy two attack bikes, which I haven't bought, so that's kind of pending. The Knight Asheron and the 30th Anniversary Marine, kind of, I was saving that till the end anyway. Um, so that's fine. Z clips are done. Project Z was a new addition. Birthday present. So that's not my fault. But, you know, kind of on the way. Painted three lots of zombies. Um, and this list was done. So power loader was the only thing missing. But I, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate the model. I hate it. And it, But it's a nice model. Um, I've even thought about, like accidentally crushing it and oh dear look at that the power load is broken and I can't fix it and I'll have to go in the bin um, but I know I, I won't do that clearly but um oh, I just I just I don't know what it is about it I just can't bring myself to do it anyway maybe Nick's paint it challenge get it painted we'll, we'll get it done anyway so that's that so that list paint get, paint what you want paint what you got sorry don't buy what you want apart from project Z which was a birthday present um, is done I mean as far as I'm concerned done so ah <sighs> Seeing as that was such a flyaway success, a new list has been formulated. I will go from the back on this list, just to kind of explain it. So on my previous lists, we knew we had HMS Victory and Millennium Falcon. So I've broken those two projects down now into like 120 parts for Victory and 100 parts for Millennium Falcon. If it's highlighted in green, it means I've got it. If it's scribbled out, it means I've completed it. So... With Victory, I've got up to issue 116. Only four issues left to get. Um, and um, they're out of stock at the moment. I, I did phone them and to see where they were because I haven't had a delivery since August. Uh, or so, no, since July. Um, so that's on the way. Uh, but I've finished up to issue 80. So that's cool. Millennium Falcon, I've got up to issue 85. And I've finished up to issue 85 apart from painting it. Um, so that's that. Then, this, well, these were my other projects, so Betrayal of Kalth is still there, Space Hulk, Dungeon Saga, Dreadfleet, Dead Zone, you know, they're kind of just there. But more board gamey, so, you know, it's, it's whether I decide to paint board game stuff. And I did start Dreadfleet, I've painted three or four ships of Dreadfleet, and I will continue to do that when I kind of want something different to paint. Um, this was a new addition, but I haven't bought anything, I'm just repainting models. This is for Defenders of the Realm, uh, and each one of these is an individual miniature, so we've got... Um, 20 character miniatures and four um, 
evil generals basically so i'm repainting them all of these metals all of these miniatures are metal apart from the the four generals which are games workshop miniatures so i'm repainting those so that's just a little side project that i'm kind of doing off camera then we've still got the avp power loader but i, I highlighted it green because it is work in progress i have started it but um i can't finish it Dead Man's Hand, so we've just got Daughters of the West, which was an acquisition at Salute. And I've also got Tex Miller, which is a new miniature that came out. So um, couldn't not get him, really, because I've got all the rest. So he was just another miniature to paint. So he's an individual one. Uh, Project Z is still where it was. So we've done one lot of zombie vixens and two lots of zombie males. So that's just ongoing. Um, and that was there anyway. Also picked up the Rogue Miniatures Dogs of War, which is seven miniatures, and that is uh, basically the crew from Predator. So it's Arnie and um, uh, and Carl Weathers and and all of the others. <laughs> um, so you got seven miniatures there of of the characters from from Predator, which I've done a little unboxing about. They're really cool, um, so I'll paint those at some point too. So that's new. Um, we'll skip over this column slightly, and then we'll go back to forty k. Where we've got, still got the Asher on. We've still got the 30th anniversary Marine. Um, still need two attack bikes. We've painted the Storm Eagle. And we are doing the Terminators at the moment. Which I've just shown you. I have acquired a Tech Priest Engineer. And I did stop off at Forge World. Gay, uh, Warhammer World. Um, earlier on in this week actually. <laughs> um, I was working up north. And um, oh, I was literally, what, 10 miles from Games Workshop and I thought it would be rude not to call in and ended up acquiring a couple of bits. So I did acquire a Knight Scion, seated Knight Scion, which will go in the Asheron. I'll show you that in a sec. And I also picked up the Praetor in Cataphract Die Terminator Armour, which is an event only model, um, but they are selling it at Forge World. Um, so that was cool. So again, rude not to pick that one up, but I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you a little look see at that in a second. And then we got Death Watch. I've really been bitten by the Death Watch bug. I love, love them. Bought Special Edition Codex, which you've seen in a previous video, but I've broken down what I've got into paintable, sizable, manageable chunks. So we've got character models. We've got the Death Watch Master, Death Watch Captain, Death Watch Chaplain, and a Librarian. Bought a Rhino Razorback Transport. And then we've got the Death Mask box set, comprising of Captain Artemis, the Venerable Dreadnought, um, five Vanguard Vets and Squad Krull, which is a five-man kill team. And then I've got the Overkill stuff, and I've grouped these into like groups of two miniatures, apart from this group, which is three, because there's 11 in the group, uh, in, the, in the kill team. So we've got the two Ultramarines, Cassius and Donatus. Uh, Notorian and Delasio, um, I'm not sure where they're from. Delasio is a Blood Angel, and he's a Blood Raven, I think. Uh, Grit, Sorlock, and Bruinator will be painted together. Then Setorax and uh, Gaidrael, and then Redblade and Subarai will be painted. So that's that's kind of Death Watch. And after I painted the Terminators, I'm going to paint some Death Watch because I'm really feeling it at the moment. So that's it. So, I mean, I think Paint What You've Got was pretty successful. And I'm kind of going on to a new Paint What You've Got, although I'm not going to be um, as stringent, I suppose. So, yeah, I did spend out on, on Death Watch. I did buy Death Watch. Um, so, you know, there we go. But, yeah, I, thought, I mean, I'm really pleased, actually. I'm pleased about my consolidation of my hobby life. Um, I've got rid of loads of stuff, you know, and everything I've got now is I feel is manageable. I feel is is real. I can realistically get this painted before I die, and that was kind of like a thought. I watched a video. I'm subscribed to a really good channel. He's called um, Tabletop Minions. Um, the chap's name's Adam. You'll all be subscribed to him, I'm sure. He, I'll put a link to him though. Um, he's, he's he's again he's he's you know clearly well one of us. Just really insightful, and I like I like listening to him. He, he's uh, you know got some you know I mean you know you know nothing no no like out out revelations but it's just sort of you know he's he's the way he presents his videos is really cool um but he did a video about um getting motivated or he's like done a few videos about getting motivated actually and getting stuff painted and i um, mean he, he's he's got an absolute shed load of stuff um and yeah i mean he was just sort of you know making reference to like you know you, you know, because obviously you've got family life and you've got to work and you've got to sleep and you've got to eat and whatever. 
and then you know you might have some time to do some hobby in your spare time and um and he sort of makes this just he finishes off the video by saying you know that and 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 one day you know you're just going to run out of time and, and that's right isn't it i mean you are you know we're all we're all on the clock we're all you know ticking ticking down out of this world um and it's it's yeah it's like you know uh, you know I, and you sort of like you you want i mean it's never going to end clearly and when i do leave this uh mortal coil and all that it's uh you know i'm gonna have a pile of miniatures that my wife who who will certainly outlive me is gonna have to do <laughs> is gonna have to deal with um we have had the conversation incidentally about how much stuff actually costs and how much um how much you, she could potentially get for things um because i i'd be um you know i'd be crying in my grave if she went and sold the reaver for a tenner or something because uh, she'd think that was really good um but there we go uh but yeah so i mean i i feel really happy i feel really kind of content in my hobby life that, that everything's manageable i've got victory ticking along and i kind of do that in blocks um millennium falcons ticking along um board game stuff i kind of leave on the back burner and i'll just do that when i fancy it so i might when i when i decide to just paint up a, a traitor legion i i'll i got it uh, you know and space hulk has been sitting there i've got one well, i've got space hulk twice actually um, and I, I might end up painting those Terminators. Um, and then I've got Dungeon Saga, which is kind of, I wanted that to be my Dungeon Crawl game. And I do play it occasionally, uh, but I haven't painted the miniatures. But again, don't need to to play it. Dreadfully, I just, I like the ships. I mean, I the miniatures are beautiful and I really like them. And Dead Zone, kind of got into Dead Zone in a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. I have painted up a squad of Enforcers and a squad of Plague. Um, and they're okay, but I mean, I probably could live without Dead Zone, if I'm honest. But there we go. So, I'm quite happy in my little bubble of hobby life and things are manageable for me. So, just as a little aside, um, just going to show you what I got at Warhammer World. So, um, so this is the Praetor in Cataphractor Terminator armor. Sweet model. Um, he is geared up for, I mean, he's got a Volkite charger, pistol, gun, whatever, and a Thunder Hammer which is not an option at all in any kind of 40k codex, but is in the 30k rulebooks. Um, you can go load it out with a Thunder Hammer and a Volkite um, Charger. Um, and there he is in there. Again, don't really know what I'm going to do with him. So I, I kind of bought him because he's event only and I've got no plans to go to any Forge World events and he was just sat there. He is £25 though, which is, um, that's expensive in my, well, that is, I mean, it is, isn't it? It's expensive for a single miniature um you know limited or not that that's pricey but he does look sweet so i mean when i do end up doing my traitor legion stuff um he may be part of that so we'll see um so that's him and i also got the the knight scion seated which is just this guy here so he's, he's a body and a head arms and legs and he sits in the seat the the cockpit basically of any serastus knight um just to kind of give it a bit of flavor really he was 12 pounds so yeah i mean that's probably probably expensive as well isn't it uh, and while i was there i also picked up this um i have my eye on it for a bit actually i've got a couple i'll show you i've got you can see i've got three i've got the um the they've all been updated now i've got the legion of Startes istvan campaign legions and the legion of Startes crusade army list which kind of come as a pair and that was that they were the first books out that you can kind of create the armies that were in the istvan campaign basically the istvan kind of um traitorous um event really that horus orchestrated so i mean that's quite cool for that but they have updated the rules and i've also got the mechanicum tagmata army lists which has got your titan legions in it basically warhound reaver warlord all the serastus knights and all the mechanicum stuff so i and i bought that because you know clearly i've got um serastus knights and uh and and titans and stuff so that's cool this book covers basically everything else this is your go-to book for 30k uh, it's got everything in there. Uh, but it's quite nice as well because it's wrapped up. It's, it's obviously in shrink wrap in the shop, but on the back it tells you exactly what's in here. So, for example, um, well, there we go. I, I was just looking. My Storm Eagle Assault Gunship, which I've painted for my Terminators. It's all in there. So there's your list, basically. But your, um, 
I mean, it goes through it all, HQ and, and Elites and, and, and all your other options. So, I mean, Legion Praetor, for example. Um, so we've got our man here. So there are, so there he is, there's his basic stats, and then he's, there's options for Terminator only. So, alternatively, the Legion, may pray to, the Legion Praetor may be equipped with Terminator armor. If this is the case, they use the following list options. So he is clearly in Cataphractor armor, and he can be equipped with one of the following. Terminator armor, Tartarus cataphract die um, and he comes with a combi bolter and power weapon but you can change that then you can change the combi bolter for a volkite charger so that's him and you can change the power weapon for a thunder hammer or paragon blade so that's him basically so, so that's where he lives in this book um, clearly like you say those weapon options uh, you can't do that you can't have a thunder hammer um, and um and a, and a Volkite Charger, at least, certainly in 40k. You could use the Volkite Charger as something else. And possibly... I'm not sure if the Death Watch can take a Thunder Hammer and a gun off the top of my head. I'm not sure. But anyway, I mean, that's where he lives. Anyway, I mean, the point... I mean, this book was £32, which I think is really... is decent value. I think that's a re I think these books are probably better value than the... Um, than the than the thirty pound forty k codexes, if I'm honest, it's a chunk of a book, absolutely massive. I mean, it's proper one hundred and thirty five pages of rules. Um, it's a bigger book <laughs> um, for one. Uh, it covers absolutely everything that you need to to thirty k it. I mean, there's the mastodon. I've got my eye on a mastodon. I must admit, and um, funny that it just opened on the mastodon page, didn't it? <laughs> um, and the rules for the Mastodon are in this book too. So I thought, mm, yeah, well. So 32 quid. I thought, I think this book's really reasonable for 32 quid. Um, and it's lovely as well. It's really nice. I mean, and like I say, up on the shelf with the other three, they, they just look nice, I think. But anyway. So this video's gone on and on and on, hasn't it? 22 minutes, we're at. Um, so that's it for this one. I um, just wanted to sort of give you a little update. Say how successful I was on Paint What You've Got. And we're kind of starting a new chapter on that now. Uh, I am keeping a list just to kind of um, keep myself organised. Um, and that's that. So thank you for watching. Congratulations if you've made it to the end. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.